So one question I've had asked quite frequently in streams is how do you level your weapons and skill points up so quickly in Payday 3? And I have an answer for you all today. However, as much as this is reminiscent of my old jewelry store rush from the launch of Payday 2, this strategy actually comes courtesy of a fantastic Steam guide I seriously recommend you check out, link down in the description. Essentially, it's a dirty ice speedrun, which can be done solo but is fastest with a crew of at least three players. First of all, Dirty Ice is an interesting heist in that it can be approached in many ways, from smash and grab to silent stealth. One acceptable strategy, if you hate stealth, is to pick up this heist on normal difficulty, head in and go loud immediately to call in Bile as soon as possible. On this difficulty, all the loot you need can be found on the show floor, meaning you can rush all 8 bags in incredibly quickly and escape with the first pickup. This takes roughly 3 minutes, with most of that time spent waiting for Bile, and earns a fair 442 XP for your skills and weapons. Not bad, but we can do a whole lot better. What you're really going to want to do is stealth this heist on normal difficulty, as the XP rewards are more than doubled, and it can actually be completed even faster. Ideally, you're going to have a full crew for this, as it speeds up things massively and takes a fair bit of risk off, allowing you to split into different roles. That's what I'm showcasing here in the gameplay, however if you prefer to play solo or are struggling with the matchmaking still, solo does work just fine and takes only a minute longer overall. So, first things first, the build you want consists of speed skills predominantly. If you want to be efficient, you're going to need to pick up Infiltrator, Quick Fingers and Bagger, as well as Escapist and Swift. As for the rest of your skills, if you're still leveling them, I recommend spreading your skill points out to gain in as many skills as possible. You're also going to want to run the standard lining for speed, as well as whatever weapons you specifically want to level equipped. Finally, I bring along the ECM gemmer in my stealth equipment to save runs later on in case someone slips up. Dropping into the heist, you're going to want to mask up immediately and head down the back alley to the right side of the building. One teammate should subdue and hide this sieve to avoid any problems on the escape, whilst the other cuts through this upstairs window to access the rear of the store. Here there should be a camera to take out and a civilian to tie down, as well as a room on the left with a whiteboard that can contain the code. You'll need the sieve later if you're playing solo, so put them somewhere safe. Next, you're going to want to lockpick entrance into the office in order to gain access to this PC and find what the code is for the basement, before hacking a phone in order to access the VIP area, heading in there and taking out this camera immediately. The two remaining candidate codes are found here, with one on this table, and the other being the Employee of the Month ID seen on this pillar. Finally, with the code in hand, head downstairs, potentially take out your first guard if he patrols into you, and ideally have a teammate answer the pager to keep you efficient. Once you've input the correct code and made it into the workshop, you have a few more cameras to shoot out and a final guard to subdue. Take care of him, open up this door, and grab the red keycard after turning off the power. This will allow you to open the vault with the large gem in it if you press the office button at the same time as interacting with the keycard. Easy to do as a team, but if you're solo, you're going to have to throw the sieve at the button to unlock the doors yourself. This is all you need to escape, just funnel the gem and the two additional bags of jewellery found within the VIP room to secure all the loot value you need to escape, clearing the heist in under 2 minutes if you're efficient about it for the smash and grab achievement. Again, this is much easier to do in a group, with 2 minutes being our average completion time. This will earn you 66,000 in cash, but more importantly, 924 weapon skill experience, meaning you'll be gaining 462 experience per minute and a whopping 27,000 per hour. Now, if you're doing this solo, expect it to take 3 to 4 minutes per run, so about 1.5 times slower, but still not shabby and honestly surprisingly fun to grind out. That's almost all for this video, but I will be leaving you with a full solo clear for reference. Enjoy your new weapon attachments and skills, and also be sure to check out my money farming strategy from the link below if that is something you're interested in. Take care, enjoy Payday 3, and I'll see you all in the next one. Pace the place or mask up right away. Your choice. Don't pull the fucking muscle! Oh, no. Be careful. Oh, God! Check out the VIP area. The display cases back there contain the most valuable merchandise. that glass, it'll set off the alarm. See if you can disable it. Check the basement. Security 
Uh, okay. Sorry about that, Central. I just burped and farted at the same time. Bloody all you can eat beans on toast buffet. Right, right. Suspiciously secure this basement, don't you think? Everything all right over there? Hello? No, I was watching the game. Got a bit excited. Sorry about that. Wanker. Okay, right. Uh, I think that sounds good. Good. The alarm for the display cases has been disabled. A huge thank you to my dedicated Patreon backers. If you want to join this crew in Going Infamous, check out the link below and pledge as little as $2 to see your name in the credits, or get 24 hour early access to future videos and vote on upcoming content. Take care, I'll see you all soon.